So we're going to talk about three common examples of internal failures to compressors, just because we hear so much about it. And there, uh, the scroll compressor is about 95% of residential units and about 60% of commercial units. So the compressor is not working. We need to determine is it an electrical or a mechanical issue. And these are some of the three top examples of that. So the first one is winding to winding failure. So this is the cutaway of the inside here, and these are the windings. We have the start windings and the run windings. If those windings are touching each other, which they should not be, you have an issue. And if they're touching each other, you've had some sort of event going on inside to make them touch each other. The next one is shorted to ground, and that's where these windings are actually touching the case of the compressor. If they're touching the case, then they're going to be shorted to ground, and we've heard about shorted to ground and that being a, uh, an electrical event. And the last one is mechanical failure. So we haven't talked a lot about mechanical failure yet, but this particular case, LRA, stands for locked rotor ramps. So that means all the electrical tested good. We don't have any electrical issues, but the, the compressor is not pumping refrigerant. It means it's not moving. So what could cause that? So the number one cause of that is a lack of refrigerant. We've had a leak over time, it hasn't been well maintained, and so we've lost the refrigerant. The refrigerant, folks, has the oil in it. And the oil, you know, the, the viscosity of the oil, that's what lubricates these motors to run. So if you think of your car, if you run your engine out of oil on your car, it's gonna seize up, it's gonna lock up. Same thing's gonna happen with this electrical motor as it's uh, lubricated by oil. If we have lack of refrigerant, um, we could have LRA locked rotor amps on this.